Okay, my friends, here's what I need help with. I need a meteorite person, some, somebody that really knows what they're doing, to assess this. Is this a meteorite and this and this? Here's my claims. Well, first of all, before I start, this the reason I got started today was because of this meteorite. And they took it, and the guy had it for years and years and years. Well, finally, he took it to be evaluated. They cut it open. They said, yes, this is a meteorite, very unusual, very heavy. You know, I think it weighs like 50 pounds or 40 pounds. It's, it's heavy for that size of a rock. And that's what happens when meteorites really burn off all the weak particles that are down in the area where they don't, they don't have a lot of weight. Then you get up to the metals, and that's what you end up with is primarily metals. Now, that's in a meteorite of one type, which is the iron meteorite. And I know why this does this, and this is an iron meteorite as well. And this is, um, is a stony meteorite, which basically is what that was. This is virtually identical to this. Where do I show you the, how identical it is? You won't believe it. And again, this is a meteorite. You see this? Let me show you right now. You see, it, let's come up close on that. You see those two holes right there? And this bump? Look up there. There's the two holes, the same two holes, and the bump. So I'm going to orient this just exactly like that. There's hole one, hole two, hole one, hole two, bump in the middle. Now, what happened to this? This edge got torn off, so it's back there is where the hole is. But that, that hole would have came right along with the rest of this material. This is cooked off a little bit, and the same thing with here, because it's weaker where the holes are. This one was a smaller meteorite. It didn't have the same... It didn't burn off as much as this. This is heavy, though. This is heavy. And it's got a lot of red still in it, which is what this thing is saturated with red. They said it's just extremely red. And that's because of the iron. Now, this is something I've studied very well. So this is, uh, is the middle of the road between iron and stony. This is primarily a stony meteorite. And it's all blanched off and cooked off as it came through space. Now, this is a very interesting anomaly. Why is that like that, red like over here, and blown out like that? Why is that? I can tell you right now, that should have come straight down and across. This is, and this is a meteorite. If somebody, I, th I believe, if you can tell me it's not, I would like to know why it's not a meteorite. Well, how did this thing get all burnt off like that? And, and again, I know what this is. It's a meteorite, and I know what this is. It's a meteorite. But I, in addition to that, I know how it was formed, and I, I need somebody to just evaluate if I'm right or wrong. But this, this basically is the same as that. That's that bump right there. And it's just scaled off here, it's scaled off here because coming through. Now they cut this off of here, and I same thing I did to look inside. Now you can see all of the, you see all that little shiny stuff? That's that mostly metals. Because this was primarily a, a metal meteorite, and I know why that happens too. Why some of them why are some metal? Why are some of them stone? And why are some of them in the middle? Meteorites, I, I don't think, are well understood at the moment. All right, I, I can make some claims about these meteorites. And I want to claim them to somebody that has the expertise to address it. You know, somebody's got to know chemistry, anatomy, biology, geology, all of those things. What I'm showing here are meteorites. That's how you get a hold of me, roger at mudfossils.com. And anybody that is capable of defending their position about meteorites and geology in general, I welcome to call me or, you know, email me and we will have a discussion. I will gladly do an interview with anyone that can claim that my evidence 
is not supported. I mean, my claims are not supported by my evidence. I have evidence to support everything I've ever said. The, the body parts are made of stone. In this particular conditions, the preservation was phenomenal. Of, this is on Earth. Things came through space. We'll talk about what these are. But this is what I need is somebody to address this. I have evidence that I think is virtually identical to that. These two little spots are the same on here as they are on there. This has the same little texture as this does. It's not cooked quite as much, but if you can see it in a microscope, you can see it's got this basic same... Hold on, maybe you can see it. I don't know if you not see that or not. I doubt if you're going to be able to see those little dots. There's a million little dots in here. Same thing as that that has. All right, they cut this piece off the end. And there was two holes right here that had, this had eroded back to where you could see the holes. But that, those holes would have come, if this had stayed complete, those holes would be coming straight up. And the same thing with this one here. That was just at the edge. But if the thing had stayed complete, it would have been rounded around there and rounded around here. And these tubes would have kept coming. Now, mine, it's in the microscope. Right there. All right. And I have, this, if you want to ever look at the introduction to mud fossils, this is not my book. Uh, a guy named um, Paul Amatucci put this book out. It's, 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 it says by Roger Spur. It's not my book, but it's based on my papers I do, and it's an Introduction to Mud Fossils and Geology. And that's the kind of stuff we're talking about right now. Now, you saw this. You see all those little spots? You see all those little spots in there? I have the same thing in my one right here. That we're going to be looking straight down at it. And here it is up in the microscope. I gotta turn the lights off. Hold on a second. Alright, I'm gonna freehand this thing. So it's gonna be jiggling around. But these are the two holes that I have in mind. But I cut it to where they were still coming through the the main body. It was being eroded here and it was being eroded there. That one was just about to be eroded into what we saw in the the one from from the meteorite that they're going to be selling. Now, I just put a little water on here. And, and you're going to be able to see all these little f spots. You see all those? If this cooked more, it would be just all little tiny flakes of metal in there. This is just not big enough to cook as much as the other one did, the one that came that they're going to be selling at Sotheby's. But all of that would have been turned into little dots of metal primarily just like the one that we see from Sotheby's this one down here you see basically what you just looked at up above in a microscope is this all right they cut it off where on the other side mine was cut think of it this way mine was cut right here all right, they cut theirs to where this piece was already ri ripped off and this piece was ripped off. But the tube would have gone up and would have gone up. And I know that for a fact because mine is the same as that, only I cut it here so that I could see the whole thing. Okay, my friends, this is a meteorite, and they claim this is the most spectacular meteorite going on. Now, I have, I believe these are meteorites, this one, this one, and this one, and I believe this one is virtually identical to that one. Now, you see that, it's, it is magnetic. Now, it's not terribly magnetic, but it's magnetic. That one there has a lot more metal 
smelted. Okay, I want you to look at a couple things before I start. That hole and this hole. This hole's plugged up, that hole is open. You see this round thing here? It's kind of interesting. Now, this is heavily iron, a lot of iron, a lot of metal. Now, I say that if if this whole piece had stayed in place, that tube would have come up and you'd see it right here where they cut. I have mine here, which is exact, I believe is the exact same thing as that. Even the, cur the this little spot up here is here. And it has the two tubes, one on each side. One of them is, is plugged up and one of them isn't. Now, and it's got the same stuff as this right here. If you look at it in the microscope, you can see all those little tiny fibers in there. Now, this is, uh, I believe, a meteorite, as that is. And I would like to see more of it, but um, this is, is quite heavy. Trust me, it's heavy. And there is some very red stuff in here. When you, All you got to do is put a little water on it, and you get a lot of red comes right out of it instantaneously. Now that's a kind of an interesting thing. These tubes are interesting. This architecture, this curve is interesting. This is basically that. All right, and it's it's been scaled down. There's a complete layer here that surrounds this layer in there. Well, what is that layer? Why is that layer completely different? And why is this particular spot saturated with that red material, which is iron? And and why is this gnarly looking thing over here and one of them over there and there's other ones here and there? What's those gnarly looking things? Are there any on this? Which I don't know. But this is another meteorite, I believe. Now this is a stony one. The other one was the one I just showed you was sort of in the middle. This is more stony, and there's, it's not oop, it's not magnetic. It's not a lot of iron. There's some in it, and there's the red iron right here. And um, it, I, I want to know, is that a meteorite? And um, you can see how it's all blanched off, and I just shh. Now, this one here is an, a little tiny iron meteorite, I believe, and it's, it's identical, basically, to the little iron meteorites you see. And I think I'll probably show you, or have shown you, a small iron meteorite. But this is iron, too. It's magnetic. And... Um, I can show all these things in great detail. However, all I really want is someone to, to chime in and say, yes or no, those are likely or not likely to be meteorites, and what I would have to do to verify. That's all I'm asking for. All right, thank you. Okay, here's how you get a hold of me, roger at mudfossils.com. No D on the roger. Now, this is what we were talking about was this meteorite and this is that that's texture I don't know if I showed you this well or not but mine has the exact same texture and it has the exact same holes right here and here and the same bump right here and here now I have it in the microscope and I got a bunch of lights going I gotta really should shut it down but that's you see how all those little spots are the same thing as what you just saw before. Hold on, let me see if I can get a better shot. All right, this is the cross section of my rock. And there's the cross section of theirs. It's the same. Theirs is a little more cooked off, so they have a better display of metals. But I also have a pretty good display of metals. And the more it was cooked, the more metals I would have. And it would become identical to that. And don't forget the two little tubes, bottom one and the next one up. If that had, if everything around that had stayed intact, that tube would be right here at the very end as it is in mine. And you see one of them is red. See the red coming out of there? This, this is all needs to be looked at carefully.
That's all I'm doing. I'm just asking our, our mine meteorites. That's all I want to know. Thank you.